Okay, this is Fluoroscan 101, how to make it work. Using the on switch, turn the system on. There are two handles on the system. One handle right here, takes the arm up and down. When it's locked, or will not go up and down. The other handle is right here. This one will allow rotation of the arm in this manner. Okay, on the screen we have perform, review, and shut down. We want to perform. It's going to ask you to put in your patient information. You need to put in a minimum of the patient's last name and the patient's medical record number or the system will not operate. Go ahead and put in all the other fields. You've got your physician's last name in those just so that they're in there and they're transferred if we need to send information anywhere. Hit perform. We're now into an operational screen. Okay, your foot switch is down under here. Let's go ahead and bag the foot switch. It's going to keep it clean during the procedure. Please don't put the foot switch on top of the cabinet. Put it back down into the base. We're going to take our body part, put it on the system, step on the orange pedal, release the orange pedal. We can change the patient orientation on the screen. We can change that on the keyboard and the position can change that on the head as well. System will go from AP to lateral, give us a nice picture. We go over a finger, holding the foot pedal, it's going to measure the tissue density and it's going to give us everything we want to in that manner. There are also the physician controls on the head. We can rotate the image here. We can adjust brightness and contrast here. It's going to make the image brighter or darker without taking another image. The laser pointer gives us the laser. If we push this and hold it until it blinks, it'll stay on for the duration of the case. The other buttons are x-ray. It's a double click. Click, click, like a computer mouse. Just power up and down if we need to adjust the power. And this third knob you want to be aware of is right under here. This is the collimator. If the collimator is knocked out of a positive position, being either completely to the left or to the right, it's going to give us a message on here. It's going to say the collimator is in an invalid position. Please move it to the left or the right for six inch. You'll use it in six inch 99% of the time. All of the images we take during the case are going to be on the right hand side over here. So we can take those, those will transfer over automatically. If the physician wants a different image on the left hand screen, touch that, it's going to bring it over there. They can then print that. We can print from the foot switch, or we can print from the keyboard. There's a printer icon, and that will give us a picture off of there. We can scroll through those. All the images are there in succession. We turn the system on. We wait for the perform, review, shutdown. We hit perform. We put in the patient information. We hit perform again. We're good to go. We take our case. We're now done with the case. Most of the time, I'll suggest that the physician prints the images after the case. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're done now, we hit review. It's going to bring all the pictures up that we've taken during the case. We can select any of those images that we want. In a Windows operating world, we can't hit, let's say we want an image 1, 3, and 5. We can't hit 1, 3, and 5 at the same time, but just like your computers at home, if you hold the control button down and hit 1, 3, and 5, it'll allow us to select those images, hence the white boxes around them. If I hit print, it's going to print off that strip of three pictures. If I hit save, it's going to save those three pictures as well. If we were plugged into your hospital's PAC system, I can hit DICOM send, that button would be highlighted. It will then send the images over to the PAC system. So, we're done, we've saved the images, we've printed the images, we're now going to hit end session. It asks us, review images or end session? It's asking us that, asking us that because there's a couple images we didn't save on there, we don't want those images, we've stored everything that we want, so we're going to go ahead and hit end session. Brings us back to the perform, review, and shut down screen. Perform starts a new case. Review would be the images that we saved on there. Those are the three images we stored from that case. Shut down is exactly that. The on button is the switch on the front, the off button is the shutdown button. When the system screen turns off, we can then unplug the machine from the wall. Changing the paper in the printer. 
hit the open button, the door will open up, take out the roll, get a new roll, paper comes over the top like this, just like your toilet paper at home, if you don't do it at home that way, you have to change, put a new roll in, close the door. Okay, when you're done with your case as well, the other thing you're going to want to do is log the patient times. So, in the lower right hand corner, right down here, it gives us our usage. DT is the duration time. We've used it for six seconds on this case. It gives us our KV and our MA. Those are what you put in your logbook. Another way that we can track our patient data or patient um, usage is by going to the DAP report. If we go to the review screen and go to the DAP report, it's going to bring that up. It's going to tell us the actual exposure time, everything that's going to be relevant to this case. If we hit print, that's going to print out and we can uh, post that into our logbook. We can also send that to your PAC system by hitting DICOM send if we're connected to the system. So this is what the system should look like when it's properly stored. So on the C-arm, there's a little handle right here that looks like a drawer pull. That's going to fit inside of this receiver over here. The handle is like a T, and if you put it in crooked, it's not going to go easily. Bring the arm around, line up the handle with the receiver, push down on the arm here, it goes down in, lock the C-arm, you're good to go.